Gray, author of Dissociative Living, and I'd like to share with you an experience I had that illustrated for me the power of state-dependent memory. For the most part, I'm a really introverted person. I need a lot of solitude to function at my best, but when I do get enough alone time, I'm capable of being very sociable and outgoing in small doses. And that would probably be true whether I had dissociative identity disorder or not, but because I do, I not only have a difficult time relating to the experiences of my extroverted personality state, I also have a really hard time remembering them. My memory, in other words, is state dependent. So when I had a bit of a meltdown after going to a friend's birthday party a couple of months ago, my distress was compounded by the fact that I couldn't understand why I was having a meltdown at all. I knew, however, that my problem seemed to stem from a conversation that occurred near the end of the party. I also knew that immediately after that conversation, I had become very upset, very angry, and I thought I knew specifically what was said that had triggered my emotional reaction, but I had no idea why it was so upsetting. So I talked about it a lot, I wrote about it, and I developed a few theories, all of which were logical, but none quite hit the mark. And meanwhile, my system was in complete upheaval, and I was hearing a near constant litany of insults in my head every day. I was enormously frustrated. And then a few weeks later, I went out to dinner with a friend who not only attended the party, but she'd been there during the conversation that had thrown me for such a loop. And we talked about it at dinner, the conversation and my reaction, and out came the reason I'd been in such a meltdown ever since. I had tried and tried to figure it out. And then without any effort, there it was. Why? Because when I went out to dinner that night, a social engagement with someone who'd been there at the moment my system had become so agitated, I was present with the extroverted personality state who'd experienced firsthand the conversation at the party. This was a revelation for me, not just because I finally had answers, but also because of what it means for me as someone with dissociative identity disorder. Those of us with DID are told to solve problems by communicating internally, which is important, yes, but it's not always fruitful and it's not always enough. In this situation, for instance, I needed not just to talk to the, that particular extroverted aspect of my identity, but engage it with someone else in the same way I'd been engaged at the time. That's how state-dependent memory works, and it's really powerful. Thanks for watching, and I hope I see you online.